Hey guys, we are in the basement and today, yes today guys, on this episode of John's Arcade, guys, <laughs> we're gonna do something very exciting because this right here, I guess is a part number two or the sequel to the last video. Now, what did we do in the last video? I'll tell you. We actually unboxed and we checked out the NES Classic Edition. That's right, Nintendo's new little $60 miniature NES right here. It has 30 games built in and really, I think it's pretty awesome. And we did a full comparison last video. We compared it to the original NES, which I have right here with composite video. And we also compared it to my Raspberry Pi. And I think in general, this thing does a great job for $60. And actually right here, you can see we have it kind of running. It's doing like in a track mode. It kind of cycles through all the games and just kind of plays them. And also there's a little animated kind of attracting it does every now and then. But anyway, this video right here, guys, we're gonna be talking about this, okay? And, and this, of course, is the Famicom Mini, the family computer mini, which uh, of course is the Japanese version of the NES. Okay, now this thing came out the same day as this, November 11th, right? And, and as soon as they announced it, I, I went online searching everywhere, trying to see if I could pre-order this thing. And actually, I got lucky. I found a website called Nin Nin. I actually never ordered for them before, but actually they only charged $60 for this. They shipped it on Friday, the day it came out. It actually showed up on Monday. I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed with this company. But anyway, here it is. And so what we're gonna do in this video is I wanna unbox this, check it out, compare it to the NES Classic Edition, see what games are different, see what's different about it, and maybe we can kind of compare it to the NES and also the RetroPie, but we already kind of did that in the last video, so maybe go back and watch that last video. Anyway, let's kind of just dive into it, okay? So right away, let's kind of compare the two here, right? So you can see the boxes are exactly the same size, okay? Famicom Mini and the Classic Edition, same exact size box. Um, you know, I always thought the family computer looked kind of strange. Do you guys kind of agree? I mean, this to me seems so normal. And when I discovered that this thing existed, because really, when this came out, and when I was a kid, we didn't really know this thing existed out there. And when I kind of figured out later in life that this is what it looked like in Japan, I was always confused. I thought it looked kind of crude compared to the NES. But now, these days, I kind of respect the way it looks. And actually, I've always wanted to own one I never have. Do you guys have a family computer? Is it worth getting one? I really want to get an original one. I think it'd be cool. Let me turn the volume down here. So anyway, let's kind of open this up. And actually, if you look on the back of the box, it has all the games here. Uh, everything's in Japanese, so I'm not really sure what's what here. But, you know, obviously Super Mario, Mario Bros., Donkey Kong, Ice Climber, Excite Bike, Rockman 2, which, uh, which of course is Mega Man 2, right? That's the Japanese version. Is that River City Ransom right there? Now, that's unique to this system. Balloon Fight. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. I, I can't read the Japanese. So I don't know what all these games are. I, I, I see right away, though, Golf. Mario Golf is on here. That is not on the NES Classic because, you know what, they, they probably omitted Tecmo uh, Bowl football. That's probably what they removed because I'm sure that would be lost uh, on the people in Japan. Anyway, let's kind of open this up, guys. Let, let's see what's going on here. Let's see what's different about this compared to the NES Classic. Um, and I'm wondering, I'm pretty sure it probably comes with a power plug uh, that's not gonna work with the US here, but we'll, we'll see. Okay, so right away we have this little thing here. Now, if you guys rem remember, the classic edition actually came with a really cool poster and we can kind of look at it and compare. Um, it looks like this does not come with the poster. So obviously everything, all the literature is in Japanese, and I'm really hoping that when we turn it on that we can select English and actually figure out what's happening with this thing. But they don't give you nearly as much stuff with the Famicom Mini because the NES Classic actually came with this awesome poster right here. I really do like this poster. It's kind of a reproduction of, of an of a, a advertisement from the 80s, you know. Now you're playing with power. I mean, how cool is that? So obviously you don't get something like that. You don't get the Japanese version of that with the Famicom Mini. So, eh. Kind of a bummer, actually. I was kind of hoping there would be some cool Japanese poster. So anyway, the literature instructions is pretty light here. So let's take a look at the system here. And you can tell right away it's as small as this guy, okay? So here it is. Now, one thing you're going to notice right away is the controllers are attached to it. And I kind of knew this going in. Oh my god. <laughs> Look how small that is. It's pretty cool though. Let's compare it to that, right? Wow. That's cool. So, so we have a power switch right here. 
it's a real working power switch and we have a reset switch on the top here and then we have the controllers now the one thing to note here and i knew this going in is that the controllers on the famicom mini are miniature okay now on the nes classic they gave you a full-size controller here's the the nes classic controller here's my original og uh, nes controller same exact size one to one on the famicom mini they're tiny look at that so I wonder how that's going to play. Those are small, man. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, that feels weird. I, I don't know. We'll see. I bet you maybe, maybe we get used to it. But again, you can see the controllers are hardwired. You cannot remove them. And actually, I do believe that uh, the original Famicom was that way, that the controllers were actually hardwired to the system. Now, the cord length, we compare it to the NES Mini. And again, this is the big complaint. Everyone complains about the length of the cord with the NES Mini. And if we were to compare it uh, with the Famicom, the cords are exactly... Eh, the Famicom is maybe an inch longer, but roughly it's two and a half feet. So it also has this short cord problem. Now with the Famicom Mini, there's no extension cable you can buy. With, with the, with the uh, cl NES Classic Edition, you can actually go on Amazon and get a 10-foot extension cable. And of course, also we learned in the last video that this plug they're using is the same one they used on the Wii. Uh, so you can actually use a Wii controller with the, uh, with the NES Classic Edition. Obviously, there's no upgrade options at all with the Famicom Mini. You're kind of stuck with what it is. Which, I don't know, is that a deal breaker? I mean, it sure is cool though. So let's kind of undo these controllers here. I'm kind of making a mess, aren't I? <laughs> There's stuff everywhere. All right, let's 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 kind of put this to the side for now and go through the rest of the stuff here. Um, now, I'm, I'm guessing that everything else that it comes with is exactly the same as the NES Classic, which would be the uh, HDMI cable and a wall wart. Oh, wow, it doesn't even come with a wall wart. Look at that. It only comes with a USB cable. Interesting. So the US version actually came with a little uh, USB uh, wall wart that you'd plug the USB cable in to get, get the, the power to the unit. This one does not come with the wall wart, just the USB cable. And it also comes with an HD, HDMI cable, same as the Classic Edition. So in general, I'm starting to think here, this is a little, a little light as compared to the US version, which has the poster, which, which I think is really cool. And also uh, the US version comes with the wall wart, the little power supply. Now, uh, obviously the, the power supply the, these things use is a very common USB power supply. You can actually even plug it into your television if it has a USB jack. So let's kind of put this back together and not make too big of a mess here. Okay, so let's check it out. Let, let's plug it in and see what happens here. I'm going to clean... Actually, let me clean this up real quick, and then we'll plug the Famicom Mini in and see what happens. All right, we got it all cleaned up here. And actually, before we plug the family computer in, I want to look at the NES Classic Edition, and let's just talk about the, the library. Let, let's kind of go through it really quick together, just so we can kind of compare and contrast the two, okay? Now, I have a, a pretty junky TV here. It's a 720p TV. It does the job, it's not 1080p, but in general, it looks pretty okay. Okay, so here's the library for the NES Classic. We're gonna quickly just go over it. Uh, we have uh, Gradius, Ice Climber, Kid Icarus, Kirby's Adventure, Mario Brothers, Mega Man 2, Metroid, Ninja Gaiden, Pac-Man, Punch-Out, Star Tropics, Super Contra, Mario Brothers, Super Mario 2, Super Mario 3, Tecmo Bowl, Zelda, Adventures of Link, Balloon Fight, uh, Bubble Bobble, Castlevania, Simon's Quest, Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Jr., Double Dragon 2, Dr. Mario, Excite Bike, Final Fantasy 1, Galaga, Ghosts and Goblins, and then Gradius. So that's the 30 games it comes with, okay? So now we're going to plug in the Mini and just kind of compare the library. Okay, so now obviously on the Mini, it's going to have the, the same kind of configuration as the Classic, okay? So on the back here... We have HDMI out, okay, and then also uh, DC in, which is get again is uh, the USB mini cable. So I'm going to turn off the classic uh, edition, and we're going to use the same connections with the mini, with the Famicom mini. So let's go ahead and plug in our HDMI, and then let's plug in our DC in, okay? I, I will say this. I'll give Nintendo credit for once for not using a proprietary power plug adapter whatever because they always have done that with all the ds's the game boys everything in fact they actually start changing the plugs up like you know from like uh the game boy advance to the ds was the same but then the dsi was different and then the 3ds xl i think had something even different so 
for once, they're using a standard, just USB, and I, I, I have to give them credit here. And, and by the way, this is where the cartridge slot would have been on the Famicom Mini. Purely cosmetic, it does nothing. And this was like the eject. I, again, I've never owned a, a, a Famicom, but just from research and seeing things online, that's how it works. And also right here, worth noting, is where the controllers go. They kind of slide in like that. And... Uh, Where's the other one? So they, they kind of are stored on the side, just like the original. So that's pretty cute, right? I kind of dig that. And then also, one thing, is on the original uh, Famicom, uh, controller number one looked like this, okay? You have your D-pad, select start, A and B. But then player two, now I don't really, I, I think they might have used this on Zelda. It had a microphone and a little little like volume uh, for the for either the microphone or, or is there a speaker in there I'm actually not even sure but this is all fake it doesn't do anything but they pretended like the microphone is there and they have the little mic thing there and and the little pseudo uh, volume knob you see that there I don't know if that's for the microphone volume or input level but that's pretty funny they kind of molded it into it but it doesn't do anything okay so let's turn it on okay so it's on so let's go up to our TV here and see what happens and I'll kind of adjust the tripod here. Oh, look at that. Now there's no setup menu. Now, when we first loaded the NES Classic Edition, we were immediately greeted with a setup menu that asked us uh, to select a language. I was really hoping that was gonna happen here, guys. Not the case. So are we stuck with Japanese? <laughs> I don't know. God, this controller is weird. So let's come up here and see if we can like choose languages or something. Oh, God. I don't know what any of this says. <laughs> now we know what this says because we know what the NES Classic said. Uh, basically there's three different uh, video modes, right? We have on the far left, we have a CRT filter where it kind of puts scan lines on there. Four by three, which is kind of a, a stretch mode that simulates how a, an original CRT would be, but without the scan lines. And then, and then Pixel Perfect, which does perfect squares, but it looks a little smushed on a TV because this, the CRT actually would have taken this image and stretched it left and right more like this right here. Now, when we did the NES Classic, I actually really liked the 4x3 the best. I, I think that's the way to go. So I think we're going to have to just concede that this thing does not have English. Right? Now, this right here is reset. If you press this, it will reset everything to default settings. Okay, does this say yes? All right, I just, I just reset it to default settings. I don't know what it's gonna do. I'm just curious if we can get a language select menu. So is it off now? Oh, no, it booted. So there's a default settings. It's this right here. <laughs> so no language select don't like that at all i don't know what this says i think this says like screensaver and stuff like that open source software look at this software in this i don't remember this in the nes classic it's a software in this console includes open source software distributed under the new general public license so it, this has a linux kernel on it and i guess it's a little quad core processor that some people are saying is actually more powerful than the original NES, if you can believe it, and actually more powerful than, than the new 3DS. Uh, all right, well, I, I guess that's it. We're not going to be selecting English at all. We're stuck in this uh, Japanese land here. Okay, so let's look at the games. <laughs> that's obviously Ice Climber. That is Castlevania. What is that game? That's a guy throws rock at fish game <laughs> by Sunsoft. <laughs> Oh my god, I don't know what this stuff is. All right, we're going to have to just jump into this. So let's kind of go through the menu and see if we can figure out what the games are. All right, so this is Sunsoft. Guy throws something in the water. This, it looks like wire kung fu. Is that what that is? Oh my god, please tell me that's what that is. Yar kung fu is amazing. I loved that game. That sure looks like it to me. Excite Bike, we know that. Galaga is on here. Gradius is on here. Uh, Super Contra, uh, Mario Brothers, Mario Brothers 3. Oh, oh, oh. Ho, ho. Okay, now look at this. So they have Super Mario, is that two? Super Mario USA, okay, which is the version that I assume is on the NES Classic. And then there's this one right here. We're gonna have to check that out. I don't see a two anywhere. So is that like the Lost Levels, the really hard one? Uh, Zelda 1. 
Uh, oh my god, I don't know what these games are. Oh, is that Solomon's Key? That's River City Ransom. Oh, is this River City Ransom 2? Oh my god, what are- what? I have to tell you, I don't recognize a Double Dragon 2. This is some big wrestling guy game. Uh, there's some cool stuff going on here, Dr. Mario. <laughs> Donkey Kong, Ninja Gaiden, right? Balloon Fight, Pac-Man. Uh-huh. Is that Final Fantasy 3, Kirby's Adventure, Ghosts and Goblins, Mario Golf, Super Mario, uh, Super Mario, Metroid, Zelda. So we're back at the beginning here. All right, well, let's... All right, well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go through, and we're going to select the stuff I don't know what it is, because this is kind of fun. So let's do this one. I'm going to turn the volume up, actually, so you guys can hear it. And I love the music in on this system. It's kind of like uh, Dr. Mario-ish. So let's select... Let's select this game right here, Guy Throwing Can in River. Or Water with Fish Guy. Oh, so it's this game. <laughs> I don't I don't know what this game is. I might have to go online and look up the game list. Oh my god. What is this? It is guy throwing can. Oh no. What is this game? I have no idea what this game is. <laughs> and we and we have it on 4 by 3 by the way. So this is a guy that leaves a balloon. He's got a, a pith hat on, and he seems to be throwing litter. All right. Oh my God! And it's it's hard as nails. <laughs> we will get the we'll, we'll we'll go get a list. I'll, I'll go Google this in a little bit. But for now, I'm kind of enjoying, <laughs> wondering what the heck it is that we're playing. All right. Well, I I don't know. So we're gonna press the reset button because I don't know what this game is. <laughs> it's litter guy. All right, so I think this will... Oh, oh, by the way, so when you reset out of the game, you have a save state right here waiting for you, okay? And you can have, uh, I think, was it four save slots per game? And it does retain that after you power it off. So so if we press A here, it'll save our state right there. And it's really slick. And it, it really makes this system that much more worthwhile. And I don't know if you guys want to see the, the pixel perfect... We, we kind of covered that in the last video, and maybe we could turn it on in case you didn't see that, but really, for my money, 4x3 is where it's at, and we're going to leave it on there for now. So let's play the next game. I do believe this is YR Kung Fu. Yeah, it is. YR Kung Fu. This is a great game. I used to actually play this in an arcade quite a bit. So let's... This is a fantastic game. <laughs> it's like an early fighting game. You know what, I'm, I'm starting to think I, I, I It's like I knew it was Yara Kung Fu, but I was thinking of Kicker. This isn't the game I thought it was. I don't think I like this game. I have played this game. This is like a very early Karate Champ or Street Fighter. So we have Kick and Punch. I'm not convinced this is a good game. I know I have definitely played this game, and I knew what it was as soon as I saw the artwork. But I was kind of confusing this with Kicker, which is definitely the better game. That's the game I was hoping this was. <laughs> so I wonder why they chose some of these games over the, what, what they chose in the U.S. I'm guessing this was this was a very popular game in, in the U.S. I mean, in the Japan. <laughs> so I died. All right, let's see if we can actually beat this dude. Come on. So this is a game here where the English just does not matter, and the same thing with that uh, that litter game that we played before. No problem with the English here. Oh my God! So we ha we gotta watch this guy's health meter here. There we go. We got wing. So I guess I'm um. All right, we gotta at least take him down. Oh, he kicked me in the nuts. All right. Oh, this guy's dirty. Wow, this game is cheap. You see that guy just running all around? Ah! Oh. Darn it! <laughs> Screw this game! I hate it! <laughs> Alright, that's ER Kung Fu. Sight bike! 
I'm guessing. You know, oh, by the way, um, it's my understanding this is the Famicom disc versions of some of these games where it actually tells you to kind of insert side two. Okay, now look at this. So it has a design thing. Did the US one have that? You know, I've played so much of the Versus uh, Unisystem arcade version of Excite Bike, I, I don't remember. And by the way, this is all in English. So this is Excite Bike, you can design levels. I don't know, I don't really feel like doing this. Alright, so I don't I don't know if that's a Japanese version. We can research it later. Gradius, I think it's Gradius, Super Contra, Super Contra. Alright, let's see what this Mario game is. So, I'm curious if this is the same as Nintendo versus one. And I'm trying to think of a way that we can find out pretty quick. Oh my god. <laughs> John does suck at video games. Alright, I want to blast through this and see if we can figure out... If this is the same as the Versus version, I'm guessing that it is. I'm guessing that the other one, the USA version, is the exact version we have on the Classic Edition, but this is the one that's on the Nintendo Versus that is harder. I'm just trying to remember when it starts really changing. Oh, the warp. The warp at the end of 2 is different. I think. Well, we're going to find out here in a second. We should at least try to get to the end of 2. I'm just going to try to blast through this and hopefully not die. So, I have to tell you, the mini controller... I haven't been thinking about it. It's not bothering me. The small controller it seems actually totally fine. And I actually just reminded myself that it was small. And I'm not even thinking about it. The D-pad feels comfortable. So I don't think that's a deal breaker at all. Ugh. All right, I don't remember when we start noticing things are different in this game. I should have went up there. Oh my god. I need to take my time here. I do not want to be small right now. So what, right here? Where is that? I... Right there. <laughs> it looks good. Looks actually really good. it. Alright, so I think up here... No, I think there's a hole right here. Yeah, I don't know what version this is. Let's go to four. Maybe things will become a little clearer. I think the end of two, uh, one, two had a hole up there in the in the versus version. We're gonna come back to this. I'm gonna... After we play these games, I'm gonna like quickly look at the game list in English. I'm sure it's, I can find it online. Eh. So there should be some hard jumps. Is it up here? If you guys know what's going on, I'm sure you're, you're leaving comments right now. <laughs> Saying, John, you idiot, that's this version. I don't really know. I didn't research this at all, guys. <laughs> we, we just opened it up and started playing it. And, you know, I never got into collecting consoles. I basically bought all the systems as they happened since the 2600, but never really went back and, and you know, tried completing collections I didn't have as a kid. So I haven't really gone too far back with consoles, only the arcade games. And really, I don't want to go down this, uh, this wormhole or rabbit hole. I, I just don't. <laughs> I don't want to start collecting console stuff. I, I think that, you know, with my kind of addictive personality, it would be bad news. <laughs> the arcade games are enough. <laughs> so I don't know. I, I'm not sensing this is the same as the Versus version. It's So far, it seems like the, the, the version that we played on the Classic Edition... I mean, I don't want to have to play the... Uh, all right, let's just back out of here. We'll research that later. I'm pressing reset. So I'm going to save my state here. Awesome. Uh, Super Mario 3, Super Mario USA. I guess we'll just take a... Oh. 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 This is Super Mario 2. <laughs> eh, 
that's what it is. So Super Mario 2 was a game they just kind of put a skin on. That's weird, so this wasn't really released in Japan? Is that what happened here? I actually love this game. I played this game so much on the first Game Boy, Game Boy Advance. Oh my god, I played the heck out of this game. I actually really like this game. And, and it wasn't originally a, supposed to be a Mario game. It was some other game and they were kind of caught looking for a sequel and they basically just skinned some other game like Toki something, blah blah blah. I don't know, you guys probably know better than me. Alright, so I guess Super Mario Brothers is the same one we had in the US and Super Mario USA is actually Super Mario 2. Zelda, okay, so this I believe is Solomon's Key, which is an excellent game. Uh, yeah. This is a good game. I actually bought this on the uh, Wii U Virtual Console. I gotta remember how to play it. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I forgot how to play this. Okay. That's right, you gotta remove bricks, get the key and get out. So you have a magic wand that lays bricks. You can jump up. And your magic wand can also make them disappear. Forgot to play this. All right, and then you just got to get out. This is an excellent game. I would rather have this than Tecmo Bowl, honestly. I mean, Tecmo Bowl is great and all. I don't know if I'm really interested in playing that in 2016. Like, this is a game I actually really purchased on uh, the Wii U, and I actually really liked it. All right, let's close those guys off. Oh boy. We gotta escape out of here. These guys are gonna kill us. Alright, so let's see if we can get up here. What kind of pass the level here? And so I gotta come over here and do this. Oh shit. Alright, you get the idea. You get the key and you get out. It's a great game. Alright, so this is River City Ransom. Now I don't think I really played this game. I know of it. It's obviously in Japanese here. I think it's kind of a Double Dragon-ish kind of game. I think that recently someone redid this game, didn't they? So it's made by Technos Japan, 1990. All right, so I don't have, I have no idea what, this is, what, what it's saying. I'm just going AAA. You could select background music. All right, well, I don't know. We'll be that guy. What is going on here? What is this? It's like a track and field beat em up game. <laughs> what is this game? I I've never played this game. I've seen screenshots and always thought it was like a double dragon type game. What is going on here? How do I jump up? Oh, d both buttons to jump? Is that right? What is this game? This is like John reacts to River City Ransom. I've never played this game. I've heard of it. What do I do? Is this like a race, a beat em up race? <laughs> I don't know what's happening. So we got stuck. Oh, we gotta go up there. What is this? Are we just trying to get to the end? Now we're on rooftops. Why is my guy always in back? So press both buttons make you jump. <laughs> so, this game. I wish I knew what I was doing. So this, this seems like some kind of track and field type game with weapons. What is this? Come on. All right. <laughs> I'm not sure about this one, guys. If I had nostalgia for this and actually played it before, <laughs> I don't know what it is. <laughs> All right, let's try this one. I'm guessing this is River City Ransom 2. <laughs> All right, let's be this guy. I don't know why. He, they, they look the same. That was not... <laughs> All right, press start. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just pressing start, start, A, 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 start, start. All right, so is this more of a story kind of thing here? Now this feels more like Double Dragon. We're not racing. It's like a really awkward Double Dragon. 
<laughs> oh, I can pick the guy up. All right, now this one seems a lot cooler. I, I, come on, let's go. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> He's dropping coins. Oh, I really like the fighting mechanic in this. <laughs> so let's pick this up. Can I swing it? All right, with A. Yeah. Now this game seems way cooler than the other one. The other one seems like a race. Maybe this is River City Ransom, and the other one's like River City Race. Could that be? <laughs> Alright, this game's awesome. That one I like. Alright, what else we got here? Double Dragon 2. Alright, what's this game? Some kind of wrestling game. Tecmo. Alright, it's in Japan. So this is like sumo wrestling. Looks like a level progression here, maybe. Oh, I'm putting my name in in Japanese, I guess. Alright. Boy, these ga you know, there's a lot more different games on this than I realize, honestly. Look at this, guys. <laughs> sumo wrestling. <laughs> Do you guys know the sumo wrestling? We did got we gotta push the guy out of the ring, right? What am I doing? All right, come on, we got him, we got him, we got him. Get him out. Get him out. Both A and B. Get him out of here! Don't we push him out? Uh oh. <laughs> I don't. I don't really know. I'm pressing A and B like a madman, and, and the directional. I'm the white guy. Come on! I'm just like going like a lunatic on the buttons and the D-pad. <laughs> I don't know if anything's really happening. <laughs> I won! <laughs> All right, well, hey, it's a sumo wrestling game. Well, I guess so. <laughs> Don't know anything about it. Dr. Mario, Dr. Mario, uh, Ninja Gaiden, Balloon Fight, Pac-Man, Final Fantasy 3, I'm guessing all in Japanese, Ghost of God, but, and Mario Golf, which is not on the uh, NES Classic. Mario Open Golf, boy, that looks great. That makes me happy right there. Yeah, see, this should have been on the NES Classic. Look at this! Look how great this is! So this golf game came out after just plain old Nintendo Golf. Remember with the generic characters? This is great! Alright, so let's see. One wood. Alright, shot normal. Whoops. Alright, so this is the... Oh yeah. I mean, I, I guess I maybe we could get into this. I, this would be kind of fun to play. Who knows? <laughs> maybe with two players, right? And this comes with two controllers. By the way, it is worth mentioning that the NES Classic Edition controllers are full size. They're removable, but it only includes one controller. So, all right, let's do a four iron. Yeah, it, it's golf with with cute little Mario characters. Is this one of the first little like mascot Mario games? Is it? This is obviously before Mario Kart. I mean, I, I think this is actually. All right, so that's Mario Golf. That one I like. Mario Brothers, Metroid, Zelda, Rockman 2, which is uh, Mega Man 2, and then the Littering game. So that's it. Those are all the games. And uh, I, again, I, I do believe, though, if we were to play some of these games for an extended, like, I, I think this version here, I don't know for certain, yeah, see, look at this! Look at this! Please, guys, this is like the, the disk drive version of Zelda! Please set disk card! This is a totally different version of Zelda! How do I do it? Ooh! Nintendo Family Computer! Oh my god, this is a cool version! <laughs> what is this? Oh, I just pressed a bunch of buttons. Kill mode. What happened here? So I don't know what's happening right now. Whatever, blah, 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 my name's... All right, how do we get out of this? Oh my god. Start. All right, here we go. So this is probably very hard to play though. That was really cool that it had a little Famicom uh, disc thing. I like that. 
So is this like totally different? Uh, is it different than the NES one? I don't really know. Obviously right now it doesn't seem like it at all. Here, you'll need this for your journey. What does he say? <laughs> it, it, you can't go out there alone or something. What is he that he says? <laughs> I know, you guys are probably right now making fun of me. All right. All right, well, I don't know what's ultimately different about this version, but it does appear to be the disc version, which is interesting. Now, I don't think it has uh, Adventures of Link, Zelda 2 on here. It does have Final Fantasy 3. You know, I didn't play the Final Fantasy versions at all on the NES. So, this I think would be impossible to play if you can't read Japanese like I can't. So I don't really know what I'm doing here. Oh my god, how do I get out of this? Oh no. Get me out of here. I'm done. Oh, I think I was naming my party. Everyone in the party, maybe? Yeah, I have no experience with this game. I'm not controlling that guy, by the way. Alright, well... I hate Final Fantasy. I'm sorry, guys. I hate this combat. <laughs> I don't like turn-based combat unless it's, uh... Uh, Super Mario RPG by Square. <laughs> that game I loved. Alright, you know, I I'm actually ultimately curious now to see if any other games... Like, I want to go back to this and, and look at this. Nintendo, please set disc card. So this is the Famicom disc version of this game. So let's look, I wanna just look at the title screen and see what it says. I'm not gonna touch anything. Let's let it load here. God, I love that. Oh, see, look at it. it says Legend of Zelda 2. Do you see that? Legend of Zelda 2. Boy, I, I guess I really don't know my history when it comes to the Japanese stuff and what's what. Interesting. So this was like a sequel, I guess, that they did on the Famicom disc version is what I'm guessing. Very cool. That's super cool. I guess we'll just check this out really fast. I'm just going to kind of quickly go through this stuff to see if there's anything that we notice right away. That so far looks like the NES Classic version. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Guessing there's nothing different here. Except it was called Rockman instead of Mega Man. I have no idea why. Alright, so that's that. Let's kind of just quickly see if there's anything worth looking at. Um... We tried that, we tried that. I don't really care about Galaga and Super Contra. The Mario games are very interesting to me. The USA, and that one. Solomon's Key, River City Ransom, and this says two-player river, I, I don't know, is that River City Race? <laughs> Goal, Double Dragon 2, we tried that on that classic. And then Mario, I mean Donkey Kong, Dr. Mario, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, what did you guys think? Uh, I wonder if... Let, let's just kind of look at this, Ghosts and Goblins. Make sure we're not missing something. So this looks just like the one on the NES Classic. And again, if you guys missed the last video, go ahead and check it out. We, we kind of went through these games on the Classic. Yeah, it's, it's the same one. So, guys, I, I think that's going to do it. Why don't we just kind of stop here? And um, we're not going to really go through the Pixel Perfect thing and all that stuff and compare it to the Raspberry Pi because we did that in the last video. And, and I think it's we can assume here that it's the same outcome. You know, at the end of the day, in the last video, I kind of felt that the NES Classic Edition and now the Family Computer, I thought it was scaling better than the RetroPie. Now, I, I want to tell you that... The RetroPie I have 
I don't know, is it six months old, the version? It's completely default. I didn't I didn't change anything. I know there's color settings. People were saying that they thought the RetroPie looked washed out compared to the NES, but I have everything 100% on default. I did not change any settings in the RetroPie. But anyway, go back and watch that video. So, all right, guys, so what do we think about this? Well, first of all, I think this is super, super cool. Just look at it. <laughs> so, I mean, it looks great next to this, right? So this really is gonna look awesome on my shelf up here. So I don't know, is this stuff ultimately gonna gonna collect dust? I probably think so. <laughs> so <laughs> I think though that I. Oh, by the way, here's the attract mode. By the way, look at. Oh, you. Oh, you missed the screensaver. It's really cool, actually. There's a little screensaver that that NES Classic has, and so does the Famicom. It looks really cool. Um, so any, ultimately, ultimately though, I am going to keep one of these set up on this table pretty much at all times. And I kind of do think this is cooler than the RetroPie. Now the RetroPie, I understand that you could put a gazillion games on it on a gazillion systems. But I like this because it's Nintendo, it's above board, you know, you're supporting Nintendo. And for $60, I think it's a pretty solid deal. And honestly, you get 30 games. Now the Japanese version, is it worth investing in this over that? You gotta have to decide that. I think there's some cool games on here. Actually, I should go look at the uh, game list online. Now, so I really thought that River City Ransom was cool. The beat em up one, not the racing one. Solomon's Key is tight. Uh, the Zelda game's interesting. I think ultimately, because I can't read English, that's gonna be a, a deal killer for me. Um, Mario Golf, maybe. I don't know, maybe. Maybe ultimately this is not going to be worth it, but it sure is cool, isn't it? <laughs> so, <laughs> and by the way, I do not think at all that these little controllers were a hindrance. I didn't even think about it once I got when I once I got into it. But I think it's super cool. What do you guys think, huh? Look at that. All right, let me go print up the the list and let's kind of definitively go through the game list and and really educate ourselves. All right, guys, I actually went on my phone here, and I, I pulled up an article for, from IGN, okay? So here, here's the, the official game list, okay? In English, Donkey Kong, Pac-Man, Excitebike, Balloon Fight, Ice Climber, Galaga. So far, all those are on the NES Classic, okay? Now, here's where it changes. Ye are Kung Fu, not on the Classic, okay? Uh, Super Mario Brothers, yes, Legend of Zelda. Atlantis no Nazo, is that the, the litter game where we are we're littering? I think it is. Uh, Gradius, uh, Makai Village, which is Ghosts and Goblins in the US, Solomon's Key, uh, Metroid Castlevania, Adventures of Link. Adventures of Link, I, do we see that in there? I don't. Bumping Sumo, Super Mario 3, Ninja Gaiden, Mega Man 2, River City Ransom, Double Dragon 2 The Revenge, Super uh, Tamashido Luo, which is Super Contra, Final Fantasy 3, Dr. Mario, Downtown Nekasutsu March Saruki. Was that the River City Ransom game where you were racing? Super Mario USA and Kirby's Adventure. Huh. So, Downtown Nekasutsu March Saruki. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing that's that River City Ransom type game that we are racing in. I'm actually going to do a Google image search on that just to make sure. I don't remember. Did, I did, did we see Adventures of Link in there? All right, so I'm looking at uh, screenshots right now. Yeah, it is. So the downtown Nekasutsu March Seriuka is that kind of uh, running through the streets beating each other up game. I, I just want to kind of double check here about... Oh, so look at that, huh? That looks pretty badass, right? That's Castlevania, huh? Or is that Simon's Quest? I don't know, it looks cool. It is pretty cool seeing these Japanese titles, huh? So let me press start here. So, Adventures of Link. Oh, there it is, right there. Wait a second. This is Zelda. No. All right, what game is this? This is another Nintendo Please Set Discard. So, is this Adventures of Link? No, this is Vanilla Zelda. Boy, I am confused as all hell here. Oh no, we, we didn't play this, did we? Oh, I know what I did. I picked both Zelda games. I got it. I know what I did. I see what I did. All right, that's Legend of Zelda 1. And then this over here, I stupidly thought was the same as that one. This is... I get it. Okay, so this is Adventures of Link, which we didn't actually start. 
duh. <laughs> I thought they were. Uh, we were starting the same game for both of those uh, 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 box arts. All right, this is Adventures of Link. So this is in English, though, huh? So let's see. Wait. That's interesting. It's saving, huh? On your mark. All right, so let's go. Chain side, look at that, chain side B. You want to see to flip the disc. <laughs> yeah, this is Adventures of Link. Okay, so Adventures of Link is on here. Okay, so we kind of got to the bottom of it. Adventures of Link is on there, I'm just stupid. <laughs> so, <laughs> what else is new? I actually selected two different games and I thought I was selecting the same one. Okay, so that's it, guys. So at the end of the day, hey, for 60 bucks, I I'm pretty happy to have this. It's definitely neat O. And, uh, you know, compared to the NES Classic, the NES Classic comes with one controller, okay? Uh, the NES Classic allows you to remove the controller and add a second controller. The NES Classic has full size controllers. The NES Classic Edition comes with a poster. This does not. The NES Classic Edition comes with a wall wart. This does not. The Famicom Mini comes with two controllers, okay, which is better than one controller. However, they're tiny, not a deal breaker. It felt pretty comfortable. So, and also the, uh, the Famicom Mini cannot remove the controllers. You're stuck with these forever. In general, obviously, both of them have the problem with the really short cord. How do you handle that? <laughs> I think the only way to handle it is, is to get a long HDMI cable and run it to your coffee table because you do need access to the reset button to get back into the menu system, which is probably why they use the shorter cords. But in general, I'm pretty happy with this. I have to say, Famicom Mini, NES Classic, I've got 120 bucks now into this stuff. <laughs> so, was it worth it? I think so. What do you, what do you guys think? I, I would do it again. <laughs> so, all right guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and by the way, if you've never subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click subscribe. We, we do a lot of arcadey stuff around here. Restores, road trips, uh, playing games, all that stuff down here in John's Arcade. So be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and tell your friends and all that stuff. And also send viewer mail. I'm not going to do viewer mail today, but it, normally I do. Send your viewer mail, your comments, your questions to john at johnsarcade.com. That's john at johnsarcade.com. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Check out my podcast, Video Game Outsiders, at videogameoutsiders.com, and you suck show at you suck show com and that's it we're done we'll see you very soon guys later and bye <laughs>